black helicopter pilot, racially discriminated against, highly skilled, highly reputable. Now he gets what half a million, put it up full mass here. Okay, so he endured significant racial abuse. I'm talking about Michael Colbert in California, former helicopter pilot with the Long Beach Police Department has now been awarded $500,000 of good old taxpayer money. After he accused his coworkers and his supervisors of decades of racial discrimination. So he retired in October 2019 and began to reflect on the racist encounters he experienced throughout his career, which began to keep him up at night. Michael Colbert, who flew choppers for the LBPD for 30 years, said he would experience racism from colleagues, including epithets and black jokes ranging from casual remarks about his skin color to unmistakable instances of racism. Quote, I was ridiculed for things that I never should have been ridiculed for, Colbert told the Long Beach Post in late 2021 when he filed the action. And the constant demeaning, it tears you down, end quote. The lawsuit claimed he was targeted in performance reviews, unfairly demoted, and often blamed for maintenance issues with the helicopters. The lawsuit cited evidence of a hostile and racist work environment with Colbert recounting a specific incident from 1990 in which a new training officer referred to a neighborhood in central Long Beach as N-word veal, end quote. Colbert also claimed that on one occasion, someone placed a banana peel on the hood of his unmarked police car. And that his supervisor kept a hand-drawn blackface sketch of a Dragon Ball character, Mr. Popo, displayed on his office cubicle for years. Initially, the city filed a response to the lawsuit denying the allegations and claiming that Colbert had exceeded the statute of limitations because the alleged incidents took place many years ago. So during a press conference, Long Beach Police Chief Wally Habish emphasized the department's commitment to progress saying he is dedicated to maintaining a diverse and inclusive workforce. So during a closed door meeting on March 12th, the Long Beach City Council voted to pay Colbert half a million dollars in exchange for dropping the lawsuit. Deputy City Attorney Howard Russell said a professional mediator helped both sides reach a deal, which avoided a potentially costly trial. As part of the settlement, the city of Long Beach was not required to admit to any wrongdoing. Now, this is a very interesting case and somewhat ironic. So, Dina Dahl, you are an attorney at law. I recently finished law school and I actually recently finished mediation training for the state of Georgia. And so I understand the value of mediation. Uh, you, If one party doesn't agree, it's not a done deal. You can still go to court. So they did mediation. However, according to the statute of limitation, the initial response from the city was accurate. He was well outside of the two year statute of limitation required. So something happened in between the response from the city and then city council saying, we're going to engage in mediation, even though legally it seems as if it would not even make it to a judge unless the caveat is somehow he was being either blackmailed or threatened not to come forward with the information. And then you no longer have the running out of the clock statute of limitation is still intact. Uh, can you make sense of how in the hell this ended up still being a case, which I'm glad it was, I'm glad it is. Um, adjudicated through the, the mediator process, mediator process, but it doesn't make sense if it's not a case in the first place. So how do you think this happened? Mm -hmm. It's possible. I mean, there's ways to kind of toll statute of limitations, as we say. Uh, one of the things is fraud. Uh, so I yeah. don't know, there might have been arguments, even if he didn't make it in his initial, initial pleading that he kind of put forward as part of the mediation, that he could add it, that maybe he was you know, told one thing and then they did another as a way of discouraging a lawsuit years before, let's say, or yep. uh, some other details like that. Because it is true that the amount is not that much if you think about it, because his yep. facts 
are really, he has quite a bit of facts, really bad facts showing a pattern of racial discrimination. If he was within the statute of limitation, I think he would have gotten more if it had gotten to trial. So there is that built in, let's say, in the amount that he was going to have a hard time overcoming the statute of limitations. But possibly he had something like some sort of fraud that he could bring in. And that threat alone worried the city. They didn't want the bad publicity of a long drawn out trial, the legal fees of a drawn long drawn out trial, if he would have been able to kind of toll that statute of limitations. And that's why they were able to come to this conclusion. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable explanation when nobody else is saying what really happened here, right? But I'm glad the brother got some money from um, the trouble he was, uh, he had to endure during his time there.